Hello, it is I come time again. So uh, since I released the Fossil Transmissions YouTube, I received uh, a few messages asking me to describe uh, the three common quit of uh, Fossil for Wing Chun into more details and explain more and show more so here I like to share with you this and actually after thinking about it I like to uh, share this so that we all Wing Chuners have a common ground on the fourth floor okay here on we have a common ground disregard of lineages so we don't get into this authentic uh, uh, lineage uh, or who is the oldest uh, those kind of political campaign which is actually the campaign which is uh, actually doesn't solve anything at all okay and also we don't get into those uh, anybody can import tai chi or whatever art internal art into wing chun and call it in, uh, internal wing chun we don't need that Wing Chun is Wing Chun, okay? And so, the following is what I like to share with you guys. The first principle of the fourth book is Ji Mu Yu Zhong or center axis has to be balanced. Okay? Ji Mu Yu Zhong Cantonese center axis has to be balanced. Center axis, usually we call it center line. In physics, this is a vertical line of center of gravity. That is the center axis. Okay. So this center axis has to be in a balanced state in order to be able to handle force flow in dynamics. Remember, this is not a demonstration. This is not for some gimmick party trick. This is real lifestyle which is going to use in uh, Wing Chun set such as Xiu Lin Tao and Chang Kyu. Okay? Without this, all bets off. And the core important of the, uh, this first principle, which is the principle of center axis, is about sitting. So, when one is in the positions of uh, the center axis has to be balanced, or if one is implement the principle of center axis is balanced or have to be balanced, or in the middle or center, one is like sitting on a chair. Okay. Because in this situation, it provides one to be able to balance in a balanced dynamic way, even toward or in dealing with the linear type of momentum and force flow. So that is the key or the core or the guts of this first principle, the principle of the center axis has to be balanced okay so in a very simple way in the EG Kamyang Ma you need to have a sit down so back has to sit down okay so you can turn you can do whole bunch of stuff because the center axis is balanced the minute you tuck it here this way or you do this way Okay, see that? The center axis is no longer balanced. This is a standing, this is not a sitting. If I turn it, I spin off. Same thing if it's my butt pop up. Okay, I can even stand like that, but you can see the curvature here, this butt pop up. I spin it, I'm going to off balance. Okay? So the center axis is about that. And the second thing 
which is supporting this center axis balancing is the seven ball the feet ball, the ankle, the knee, the hip, the shoulder, the elbow and the wrist the seven ball has to be proper balance and proper handle okay? you don't want to climb it if you climb it, it's stuck there the feet ball is very important okay? because we talk about <coughs> in physics frictions or tracking for us to stand properly or be able to move properly that's physics okay so in this first principle of center axis has to be balanced our center axis is balanced, see in Uto. It deals with the seating, okay? The seating and the seven balls has to be loose. Okay, so this is the platform which is you be able to handle the force wall. Okay? Now the second principle is a principle of Kam Yong locking or Clamping yang, sinking the force pull. Clamping yang, sinking the force pull. Okay? Kam yong. Kam yong is not like putting a goat here and climb the heck out of it. No. Kam yong means just you put your body weight, place your body weight on the outside of your uh, feet balls. Okay? On the outs outward of the feet balls. So, the weight body weight is outward, go, go uh, distributed outward to this side. It's not stick in the mid middle, outward. As soon as you do that, the body can uh, rest the weight <coughs> or place the weight uh, effortlessly. One do not have to do any stress on the seven balls and it be able to balance itself. That's the, the, the for, for the uh, for the body uh, weight handling, and thus one be able to have a forceful transmission. Okay, forceful transmission up and down. So the second principle, this coming uh, locking or the uh, uh, sinking the forceful. Or descending the force wall or transmitting the force wall downward with Kam Yong <coughs> is actually a principle of force wall transmission of full body force wall transmissions. Okay, so that this second principle is a principle of full body force wall transmissions, and the reason we want to place the the uh, the, the uh, body weight properly uh, in, in, the, in, 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 the, in this manner it is can be seen like if I sit on this chair I place my body weight properly on my butt to the chair then all this joint seven balls I can use it to transmit the force Freely. The minute I have to use to lock my joints just to balance my body weight or my body, then the transmitting of the force or the force vector or how we sequence the force vector, okay, sequence the force vector because force flow is actually sequencing of the, uh, the, the, the force vector traveling okay in the body once if we lock certain joints okay for example lock the knee lock the ankle then that transmission is either weak or have breakdown due to that holding of the joints or clamping of the joints and also 
if say for example usually people climb the ground once you climb the ground the coupling between your feet to the ground will be disrupted because between the feet and the ground there is in physics we know there's a friction there okay for traction you crank it like this this part of coupling you know if this is the feet you climb like this this part of coupling it is no longer uh, effective or efficient okay you want to have a full piece and then this is the ground you can coupling there and there's friction playing there okay so anybody thinking they want to put their weight on the heel or the weight on the ball of the feet well it's not going to improve your coupling to the ground it's not it's not going to improve your friction handling or, or the tracking to the to the ground okay so the weight has to be placed in the properly in order for the force flow to be able to transmit up and down freely okay so this is the second principle of the force flow, which is the principle of force flow transmissions throughout the whole body and be able to get integrations of the whole body. Okay. One thing I like to say here is I don't talk about this uh, spine. Talk about these seven bowls. Why? Because spines is fragile. You can handle the seven bowl and make the spine transparent in the beginning state. Why? So that we do not actually misuse the spine which is cause trouble or injury. Okay. So this seven bowl have to be handled not monkey around with the spine okay sometimes somebody said well, i want to use spine power okay if one do not follow the first principle of the center axis you use spine power all the force can jam into the spine that spine can be damaged because spine is weak okay how is it uh, which is who is stronger this tight hip knee or the spine joints okay it's easy to damage the disc of the spine so don't mess around with that the second thing sometimes people say oh yeah you know when I spend I need to have EG common mark climbing this way and I have to uh, 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 pull my head like pull my head outward lift my head outward like hanging like a a heavy bag, don't do that. First, you screw up the lower four bowls, so the force will no longer flow freely for the whole body. The second, those type of hanging on uh, the the the, uh, the, uh, the 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 top of the head and so forth, like in the other internal art, it cause stroke. Okay. Read it in the in the uh, China's uh, internal practice and so forth. It caused stroke because it's violating the yellow and blue classics. Okay. So don't just go out there and copy somebody's stuff and thinking that oh it's internal just because of somebody wrote down there of a hundred people wrote down there you thought that's internal you copy it. No, it's problematic. Okay. The third thing is, a lot of people say, well, they want to align this shoulder, align this, uh, this uh, what do you call it, the spine, upper spine, and so forth, and they do pong sao this way, and so forth. Don't do it either. Why? The minute you do pong sao, in this at high weight, your shoulder blade and your shoulder over here, this place, this joint. Like in the Yip Man 3 movie when uh, with Donna Yen uh, fighting the uh, 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 Mike Tyson That is a movie, in the real life you take a boxer punch into that 
you might crack or cause serious injury on between your shoulder and shoulder blade. That's how weak it is. Okay? You practically just enjoying this path. That is human uh, biomechanics and physics. Violating that is looking for trouble. So our ancestor tell us already, Kam Yong Rokeng, the principle of transmitting the force for your whole body. You lose the whole body, nothing should be jammed or, or, uh, or, or partially handled this way or that way to get some to do something, but everything is one piece. Okay? That is the proper way of handling the forceful up and down. Because the body has to be feel like transparent, like the spine has to be transparent. The force coming from the hand going down to the ground, this body like transparent. Okay? Without that, any place which is feel heavy, the force will uh, go there and every physical stuff have a limitations. If the force in a particular place where you apply strength exceeds the limitations of the physical body, it's gone. That part will be damaged. Okay? So the second principle is the principle of this uh, force flow transmission. It is called Kam Yang Locking. And again, force flow is just a sequence of uh, force factor in physics sense. Meaning that it can be aligned, okay? Not aligned, it can be, I, should, I shouldn't use the word aligned. It is sequencing the force vector, how it go, how it travel in the body. That's a better way, okay? It's not aligned, okay? it's just how, how, uh, how, how we drive or how we lead or how we guide. I think guide, guide like the missile guidance is a better word probably to guide it up, okay? Guide the force vector. And because of this force vector is guide, sequence uh, in terms of time, okay, like guide up, guide, 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 you know, like one force vector, flow this way, flow this way, flow this way, no. That is the force flow, okay? Simple as that, it's physics. You can go in the, the, the physics lab and check that, you know, to handle that, okay? So this is a second principle and this is based on you need to know how to place your weight properly. Okay? You place your weight without precondition your body like you need to climb something just to, 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 to hold your body stable. If you do that, you have already used uh, a lot of effort just to, to, to balance your body. Then the place you use the effort to balance your body a precondition will dissipate your, en your, your, your energy so it's not that uh, it's less efficient uh, effective in using uh, handling the force flow and also it can jam there okay so this is the second principle the third principle is the principle of power generations Okay, this is the quick leg chong tai hai, force come up from ground. Okay, force come up from ground. So what it means is this, what it means is it is using a reaction force of the body. So what, you know, to give you an analogy. The analogy is like if you see a rocket shoot off. It always propel backward and it go forward. Like if you shoot a rifle, the uh, what do you call that? The, uh, the, 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 the there's a, a momentum or a, a what do you call that? A, a recoil backward to to shoot the thing out. Okay. So the leg chong bei hei. It's meaning that there's an action force applied downward to the ground and then it shoot the reaction force up using make use of the reaction force up. That's called like Chong Tai Hei. Okay? So the force can come up from the ground. Okay? It's not push ourselves. It's actually like the rocket. Okay? It it it, it uh, the, uh, the, the the jet shoot back and then the rocket moving forward. So 
reaction force meaning the rocket move forward. The action force meaning the rocket have to the jet has to shoot backward so we move the rocket forward. Okay? That is lection by hey. So this is the third principle is the principle of power generation. Okay? Now a lot of people are thinking like Chong Dai Hei, meaning that they have to lift their ends, lift their ends. This is called lifting their body. This is not force come rise from the ground or come up from the ground like Chong Dai Hei. This is called lifting their body. Okay? So there's a different thing. Also, somebody will say, oh, I want to use the Yi power, okay, or the mind power. Well, if we do not satisfy the first principle, principle of a balance center axis, the second, the principle of the force flow transmission, and the third, the principle of the, uh, the power or the force generations, no matter how you use your mind, it's not going to work. In fact, if you stress your mind, you become tunnel vision. Okay. For example, if I want to shoot a rifle, my mind can only like uh, help targeting that spot. And I have to shoot it, I trigger, and it, 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 the bullet shoot up. If we, I don't have a gun, I don't have the rifle, I don't have the bullets, I can keep thinking for the next 1,000 years. Okay, or what, what, what will that do? It's going to do nothing. Okay? So the mind is just that. It's just like when you aim a rifle. That's what it is. That's what the intention. You need those three principles. The principle of center axis, balance center axis, the, 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 the principle of the full body uh, force flow transmission, the, the principle of the uh, force generations or power generations to develop the body so it's like you have a rifle then you, you, you can just aim the target with the intention without that it is hopeless there is no such thing as a mind over map or those kinds of philosophy stuff in real life okay so when you do shooting talk or Cham Q. If we violate this three principle, it's guaranteed go nowhere. Okay? We need to be really clear on what is what. Otherwise we'll not be able to repeat and reproduce it with quality. Okay? And forget about all this ye and all this thing. This is the three principle is a is a tangible thing because we live in this physical world. Okay? So this print trace principle is a common denominator of all Wing Chun lineage. You can hear it from different parts of the world. Be it in Canton, in, 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 in different area, this three principle, this three quick, everybody talk about it. But this is the way how you implement money and three, this three quick has to be intact. And of course, if I want to promote my Yikam lineage, I can say, get into even more detail in the first five stanza or first five kit of the uh, Yikam Syrian Kam. But I didn't do that because I am not here to promote any lineage. This is the common denominator and here on, we need to use this as a common ground for all Wing Chun. We just don't want to just import something from some different place and then we call it Wing Chun. And then when you work with these sets, still in Tao Chang Kyu, it doesn't work. Okay? And say if I want to uh, use force or strength or whatever we want to call it by adjusting this and uh, uh, solder blade and adjusting the, 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 the spine and, and so forth. Well, that is a demo. It's just like, for example, in high speed, 
uh, uh, racing car can we afford to adjust the balancing of the uh, of the of the uh, transmissions at the high speed race? If we do that, we're going to screw the whole transmission. That's the same thing with this adjusting all this. Okay, that's violating the handling of the force flow. In demo, you can say, oh yeah, if I adjust this, I have this result. But in high speed, you don't have time for that. And if you do that, the momentum and the law of physics will screw up the whole thing. Okay, it's like a, a racing car, race car. Uh, in, in running 100 miles per hour and you suddenly want to, to, to tweak something of, of, of your transmission and see what happens okay? real dynamic stuff is different than demo oh I can do this, I can do that okay? and the center axis balance of the first principle that is Developing the six directional force handling is not a single direction as we know in demonstration. Always it's just, oh, you push me here, I push you here, you have five people lined up, I push you here. That's one single. But in the real world, you look at MMA or K1 or anything, that thing can spin in with God know what angle. It's not a, a, a monotonous a single angle. Okay? So this principle I like to share with everybody here and I hope everybody use this here on as a common ground or sort of possible. Okay? No longer we need to get into who is more authentic and uh, this is internal and that internal. We need to get into what is well defined specific details of Wing Chun. Wing Chun is Wing Chun. Wing Chun is not Tai Chi. Okay? Wing Chun is not Xing Yi. Wing Chun is not Ba Gua. Wing Chun is not Ermes, Er Zhuan. Wing Chun is not uh, White Cran, Fu Jian. Wing Chun is Wing Chun. And Wing Chun is within the Xiu Ling Tao set and the, and, and the, the Tang Kyu set. Can we make it work? Okay? And so finally, I like to get the book Okay, because there's a lot of details inside there. Okay, whatever I, 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 I share with you here, you need a lot of other details here, including the force flow, the experiment, the observation, everything is, is here. And sure, this is very thin. And it's purposely make this thin. I can make it this thick if I want. Because we want to memorize all this all these details in our mind. We need to practice it. Otherwise, I can make it this thick and put it in your library. What's the point for that? Okay, this is something need to be used. It's not something, something you want to put in the library. Okay, so first flow and so forth. A lot of things defined here in the body handling and so forth. So get it. Okay, this is a textbook. It's a mean that it mean to be a textbook and basic, common ground. Okay.